Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl here, back with another episode, and hope everyone's staying at home and very healthy. I finally have an update though around this new studio working space. The desk setup behind me is finally complete, or at least it is enough for me to share with you guys. It's been in the works for the past, I'd say month, month and a half. There's been a couple delays, but more importantly, those juicy upgrades that I want to share with you guys. Let's start off first with the centerpiece, or I guess the main component that runs this setup. It's my older, 27 inch iMac Pro. And I don't want to chat about it too much because I've had it for close to three years now and I initially had a Mac Pro in the studio at the beginning of the year. It was way too overkill for the stuff that I'm doing here on YouTube so I ended up returning it and I also did have a Pro Display XDR. Got that in gloss, returned that as well and I'm currently waiting on the matte version of that display because I've got a ton of windows over on this side so I want to help reduce that as much as I can. But for now, my iMac Pro has been humming along perfectly fine, and I think we should get a refresh of that sometime in 2020, fingers crossed. Hopefully those reduced bezel sizes. And that upgrade should be coming to the entire iMac Pro lineup, so make sure you stay posted. To the accessories around the iMac Pro, those are new to the studio though, and they're all from a company called Grovemade. They are based in the US and most of their products are made in house, and they make some of the best looking desk accessories for your setups. I've gone for a maple wood finish to kind of match the entire theme of this new place. All of it is light wood and I think it matches perfectly with the white to make things very minimal. I've got the computerizer because most iMac owners know the computer just sits way too low and Apple doesn't seem to realize that yet. Most people stack their computer on either books, paper stacks. You're spending over a thousand bucks on a machine, get something that I think kind of fits that bill. I've got the same Maplewood finished trackpad holder and by the time this video is up, hopefully these Maplewood shelves are installed. Those are planning to live over on the side of my desk setup, housing all of my gadgets and the rest of my desk buddies that I do collect over time. Most of that ends up being Lego. Flanking my iMac Pro, I've got the two Yamaha HS7 studio monitors. They're great for monitoring sound. That's what they're essentially made for. I've also had these guys for a couple years. I've had no problems with them and they match the aesthetic perfectly. My keyboard is the Logitech MX Keys. I find it more ergonomic than what's included with the iMac and of course the MX Master 3. And I know that most of us are working from home these days and if there's one thing that can save your hand, prevent any carpal tunnel, it's getting a better mouse. You'll be so surprised how much that makes a difference. Usually one of my top upgrade recommendations. And the second is actually the chairs which are new to the studio also. They're from a company called Autonomous and the exact model is called the Kin. And I know that in my OG studio, I had a Herman Miller. That thing cost, I think, around 12, 1300 bucks. Way too expensive. A lot of you have asked for better chair recommendations that won't break the bank. These have been pretty great and they cost around three to 400 bucks if you can snag them on a deal. And if you look at chairs from say Ikea, they cost the exact same, but these are just way better. The chair is made out of a rubber mesh so it breathes a lot better and that helps out when you sit in a chair five to six or more hours a day. It's usually the area that a lot of people skimp out on or go cheaper on but I would actually reverse that. Spend more money on a decent chair, your back and overall health will thank you in the end. They're dope, super happy with them and as you can see I've got two in the studio so one sits over on this desk, the other one plants itself by the desk by the orange wall which is this way. And to round off the entire desk setup, the table as well as little cabinet below, those are from a company called Rove Concepts. Their normal furniture is pricier, obviously more than that Ikea price bracket, but it's built great, it lasts longer. And I'll also still leave my favorite Ikea desk recommendation below, it's kind of the hack. It's the two Alex drawers with the kitchen countertop that acts as the desk. So those are the main components of the desk setup. So all of that stuff runs this entire YouTube channel perfectly. The rest of the stuff that I'll chat about now is kind of the desk accessories. These are kind of nice to haves or bonuses. I usually have my iPad Pro on my desk and I have it in sidecar mode so I can use it as an external display to my iMac. But there's this cool accessory that I use to house my iPad from 12 South and I know that this is meant for holding MacBooks or MacBook Pros. It's called the Book Arc. It's a pretty creative little hack of mine. I'll take full credit for that and of course they're both in space gray so they do match. I've got an Amazon Echo Show 8 on my desk. Amazon kind of powers this entire studio. I glance at the time but more importantly when I'm editing 
editing, I do listen to a ton of my audiobooks. The current one I'm listening to is Beetle and the Bard for all of you HP fans out there. I've got a little orange pen tray to have some sort of orange in this setup that houses, of course, my pens, Apple pencils. And right beside that, we've got a Logitech wireless charger. It usually houses the phone, which I'm currently testing, which happens to be the LG V60. Not too sold on LG's dual screen phones in general. They've got this ridiculous case hybrid thing that makes it two screens. Like most techies, I kind of prefer it when it's a standalone device. And the only reason when I would use this dual screen case is when I'm at home doing some mobile gaming, it acts as the gaming pad. And the last thing that usually lives on my desk are my headphones. And these are the new ones that I've been testing. And I can actually say these ones I'm more impressed with. These are the Surface 2 headphones. And I am coming from both the Sony and Bose noise canceling headphones. So definitely a solid pair and cheaper actually than both of those. And these are currently my favorite pair of noise canceling headphones in 2020. I've also been playing a ton of Call of Duty with these guys, something that I've also been doing a ton during all of this isolation. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this desk setup tour and an entire studio tour is in the works. This is just one part of that. My next desk upgrade is actually a bit more aesthetic. It involves some Lego, which you see over on this side. This is probably the next build and I'll share a little sneak peek of... Oh my God. I just smashed the entire back end of this Starship Destroyer that I've been building that was caught on camera. Obviously, that's what I'm going to be working on next to fix that up. And hopefully you guys stay tuned to the entire studio tour, which should be coming very shortly. Hope you guys enjoyed this desk setup feature, though. I'll leave all links listed down below and hope to catch the rest of you in one of my next bids or vlogs. Peace.